Okay, so let's look at the other uh, killer feature that I like a lot in WordPress, and that is um, short codes. So I'm going to pull up a plugin here, and let's look at a particular short code. So there's a way to do, um, actually, let's go look at an example of it first, and then we can come back. Basically, these are shortcuts that you can put into here, into your admin panel. So here I've got a um, some brackets that say code, and then there's an attribute here called title equals figure one tag pairs. Okay, and then it's, it wraps around, and there's an ending brackets down here, sort of like HTML, and where you're wrapping content in this. Um, you can actually have short codes if you're not wanting to wrap any content. You can have short codes that don't have any ending. They're just sort of objects unto themselves. But these are basically um, just like they sound. They're things that help us out. Say we have some really complicated code we want to put in. Maybe we want to create slideshows or columns or anything like that. And we want our users to have a simple way to define these things. To be able to say, okay, here, if I put this short code in, something else is going to appear in its place, sort of like a placeholder. And so you're Users don't have to know all the complicated code. They don't have to know, you know, about any JavaScript or CSS or anything that's being loaded. They just know if I put this in, something cool happens. So we're using this as the code, short code. And that means that I've got to have some matching code in a plugin or in my themes function file. And it's going to say add short code. I'm going to tell it the name of the what I want, which is code. I'm going to say, okay, I want to execute this function whenever, you know, any place that you find that short code. And so, of course, I've got that function right here, and it accepts several arguments. And the two most common ones are attributes and content. So the first one, of course, is going to be attributes, and the second, if supplied, is going to be the content. The content is going to equal whatever is inside your short code. So in this case, you see this information right here, that's going to be the content. The attributes are going to be these right here, or this one right here, title um, equals whatever. So when you come back here, you can see that um, I'm processing the attributes inside this function called short code underscore ads. And what that's doing is I'm passing in an array of defaults. In this case, I've got an array, title equals code, and ads and it's merging those two together and doing some security processing you know to make sure everything looks good and so what I'm doing is I'm saying okay if I didn't specify the attribute then the value is going to equal code if I did it's going to you know if I did specify it then now title is going to be what I specified over here which is figure one tag pairs so then I'm running the extract function and this is a built-in function in PHP that is wrapping around all this so it's going to take the resulting array from shortcode ads you know which is what when it merges those two together it's going to return an array extract is going to turn all of those into variable names with a value so I had a variable in here called title now I've got a variable called title and it equals in this case um, in the example we're going through now it equals figure one um, what figure one tag pairs so now I can use that in my output. So I'm putting it inside of an H3 tag here. And the content, which is up here, is going to be put inside of some code tags. So now I've got everything formatted just like I wanted to. The user didn't have to know div class code or H3 or any of this stuff. It just, the user just specified, here's the title that I want, and I want it to have this content. Clean and simple. Now this is a fairly simple example, but obviously they can get a whole lot more complex and allow you a whole lot more power down the road. So I assigned all that to a variable and then I returned it. And so anything that I return here is going to be what the um, short code is replaced with. So if we go back, all of this from start to finish is going to be replaced with whatever that output is. It's going to be replaced with all of this formatted out nicely. So that's at its very simplest. That's what's going on here. Um, the really great thing about it is, is that if you need to make changes to your short code down the down the road because you found a bug or something, it's still very possible to do.